Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install DuckStation on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So DuckStation is the PlayStation 1 emulator and I'm going to leave a link to this GitHub page in the description. So if you actually check the latest releases, I'm going to click the releases here. What you'll actually find is that we don't have a Mac build here. This is because the author has decided not to support macOS builds any longer as they don't have access to the hardware for this. However, what we can do is to go to the action section here. So if we go to action at the top, we're going to actually download a build of the latest workflow. What you want to be aware of is that these are kind of the live builds that are created whenever some code is merged into this GitHub. And what that does is that it creates artifacts. So if I click on this very latest one, which is only updated two hours ago, I'll click on here. And then we scroll down to the bottom. And then if we are logged into the GitHub page, so we need to be logged in with a free account. What we can do is to download one of these artifacts. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to click on the Mac OS artifact here, which is this Mac OS X64 build and we're going to do a download of this. So this is kind of a byproduct of the building process and this is not particularly well supported. So it's just an alternate way of downloading a macOS build. It's not really recommended that you go this way because this is not going to be tested and it's just a particular version of this software. It's just an artifact. So just be aware that this might be quite buggy. So I'm going to minimize this and then go to my finder section here. We're going to go to downloads and we've got DuckStation here, which I'm going to drag to my applications folder. So here we're going to double click DuckStation. So it's saying here we can't open it because it's not from a verified developer. If we hold down the control key and then click on DuckStation and then click open, then we're going to have an option to open it straight from there. Here in the background asking us whether we want to give permission to accept keystrokes. Here we're going to click the padlock, type in our password and then tick the button on the left of DuckStation. Now I'll close this now. So once we've got DuckStation open, what we're going to do is to open up the settings button here. We're going to make sure that we have the correct BIOS set up. So here we're going to make sure that we set the BIOS directory. So I've already downloaded my BIOS. I'm going to put it in my emulation folder here. So I'm just going to browse for this. So the BIOS files are pretty easy to find on the internet. All you need to do is to do a search for PlayStation 1 BIOS and then you'll be able to find it there. So this is my scph1002.bin. I'm going to click open to set this folder and we're going to refresh this list here and make sure that we select this European PAL BIOS here. I'm just going to make sure all of these are selected and then press close. And then here we're going to start a specific file. So here we're going to start my Tekken 3 ISO. So I'm going to click open here. So that's booted up the PlayStation 1 logo here. I'm just going to mute that for now. So basically what you want to make sure is that you have a controller ideally. So I've got my Xbox wireless controller, which was pretty easy to pair using Bluetooth. All you have to do is to press the pair button and then connect it up to the Mac operating system and you're ready to go. And then here we're going to make sure that we have the controller set up in settings. So if we have the controller settings up to here, so here we can change the setting to, to digital controller and then we can basically rebind our key. Keys. So I'm going to press the up button here and then press up on my controller and basically rebind all of the keys till I'm happy with the controls on my Xbox One wireless controller. So once we're happy with that, we're going to go into the game and I'm just controlling this with my controller. I'm going to maximize this. So basically, in terms of graphics, we have a choice in the settings menu. We can tweak this between the OpenGL setting or the Vulkan setting. This Vulkan setting is presumably using Molten VK in order to work. And basically, I'm just going to double click this toolbar so I can see the frame rate in the bottom right here. And basically, I'm just going to demonstrate this game a little bit. I'm also going to change the tweak the settings so that we get a bit more resolution. So within the enhancements section here, we can also change the internal resolution. So I'm going to tweak mine for 1080p, which is what I'm recording this video in. And uh, we can see the progress we can have here. We're running at 1825 by 2240. So I'm just going to turn up the sound a little bit so I can play this game properly. But yeah, I think this game runs fine. I think PlayStation 1 emulation was you know, possible even at the time of the PlayStation 1. And uh, this is certainly working fine even at the scaled resolution that we're playing at here. So this is pretty much working perfectly as far as I can tell. So this particular method of grabbing DuckStation is not particularly ideal. We don't even have a version number written here. This is because this is just an artifact download of the GitHub page for this. However, this is working perfectly well. This is technically an Intel emulator, so it's running this emulation through Rosetta 2 and the performance is still very good. 
However, if you are interested in emulating games, I do think that the OpenMU is going to be simpler to use for most people. I'll leave a link in the description for this particular tutorial. Please check it out. And anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.